nothing says Thanksgiving like pumpkin. So today we are going to be making these amazing pumpkin petite gâteaux. They're absolutely perfect for the holidays and consist of a silky pumpkin mousse, a spiced caramel liquid center, and an almond sponge cake. This mini dessert is so balanced and elegant, but still really cute and fun. So if you want to learn how to make these, keep watching. Let's start off by making an almond sponge cake. We are going to start by whipping 200 grams or four large eggs and 198 grams or one cup of confection sugar in a mixer until it triples in volume. In a separate bowl, you're going to need 200 grams or two cups of almond flour and add three grams or one teaspoon of baking soda and two grams or one teaspoon of salt and whisk that just to combine everything evenly. Then we are going to begin folding our dry mixture into the eggs in three additions. And right before we completely combine everything on the last addition, we are going to stream in 60 grams or a quarter cup of buttermilk. Then we are going to spread this on a half size sheet tray lined with parchment paper. Try to flatten this out in as few movements as you can so that we don't push out any of those air bubbles we worked into the batter. Then give it a few taps to level your pan and bake it at 325 for eight to 10 minutes. You'll know your cake is done when it's golden brown and bouncy when you touch it. Once your cake is cooked and completely cooled, we will need to cut small circles from it to fit into the base of our mold. I don't have a ring cutter that's small enough for this pumpkin shaped mold, but I found that the base of my largest piping tip will fit perfectly. So I'm going to cut out a few pieces of cake and let's move on to our caramel. For the spiced caramel, we are going to begin by infusing our cream. You're going to place 250 grams or one cup of cream and gently bring that to a boil. Then you are going to add two cinnamon sticks, one star anise, and 40 grams or a thumb sized piece of ginger. Then you wanna cover this and allow it to infuse for 15 minutes. In the meantime, let's make a dry caramel by putting 250 grams or one and a quarter cups of granulated sugar in a pot until it starts to brown. You want to do this in three layers and allow each layer to caramelize before adding another. You also don't want to disturb the caramel by stirring it because agitating the sugar will cause crystallization, which you can't undo. Once your dry caramel is done, we are going to strain our cream infusion over the caramel. Be sure to do this slowly because the caramel will start to bubble violently and a sugar burn is not something I want any of you guys to experience. Then you can set this mixture aside to cool while we start on our pumpkin mousse. For the mousse, we're gonna start off by making a pat -a bomb which is basically a process in which you cook sugar to softball stage which is 118 Celsius or 240 Fahrenheit, and slowly pour that over egg yolks to cook them rapidly. It gives you a really fluffy and frothy egg base that adds richness to any mousse. In a stand mixer, we're going to place 36 grams or two large egg yolks and begin whipping them until they appear pale. And this is such a small amount, you guys, that we're gonna have to drop the whisk so it can really scrape against the base of the bowl. While that's beating, we're going to begin cooking our sugar. So in a pot, we're going to cook 64 grams or half a cup of sugar and a quarter cup of water to make it a sandy texture and cook that to 118 Celsius or until the bubbles appear thick and move slowly. If the bubbles are moving very rapidly, it's not done yet. Once it reaches 118, we're going to quickly stir in four grams or two sheets of gelatin that I already bloomed. When you purchase gelatin, they come in sheets like these, and in order to use them, you must rehydrate them in cold water for one to two minutes. You cannot use gelatin while it's dry. Begin to pour the hot sugar over the egg yolks in a thin stream. You want to make sure that you're doing this against the side of the bowl. In a separate bowl, we are going to whip 290 grams or one and a quarter cup of heavy cream to medium peaks and set that aside. Then in a separate bowl, we are going to start with 188 grams or three quarters cup of pumpkin puree and whisk our pat bomb And you'll know that. your pat bomb is ready when the base of the bowl feels pretty neutral against your skin. Then we are going to fold this mixture into the whipped cream and put it in a bag because we are ready to assemble. For the assembly, we are going to pipe our pumpkin mousse about halfway up the mold and give the mold a few taps to get out any air bubbles. 
Then using a small offset spatula, I'm going to paint the mousse up the edge of the mold to coat it completely. You shouldn't see any of that mold poking through the mousse. Then you want to pipe about a teaspoon of the spiced caramel we made. Then fill the rest of the mold up with more mousse and place the almond sponge and push it flush with the base of the mold. If there's any excess popping out, just scrape it off using your offset spatula and repeat until you've filled all of your molds and then put this in the freezer overnight. You need it to be frozen solid. And lastly for the coating, we're going to make a two to one ratio coating just like we did in the previous video, except this time we are going to use cocoa butter instead of coconut oil so we can get that really crisp, crunchy shell. I'm going to melt 300 grams or two cups of white chocolate in the microwave in 30 second increments. And separately in a pot, I'm going to melt 150 grams or one cup of cocoa butter over the stove until completely liquefied. Then I'm going to combine the two in a tall container. You wanna make sure that it's wide enough to dip our pumpkins and deep enough to completely immerse them. Lastly, I'm adding red and yellow food coloring a little at a time until I have the perfect pumpkin color. You guys know I'm all about the natural shades, so be careful whenever you're using food coloring and this is the color you're looking for. And finally, we are going to unmold our completely frozen pumpkins, stick them with a toothpick, and dip them in two times to get a nice coating and allow all of that excess to drip off. Here, I scraped the base against saran wrap just to get a really clean edge. And I'm using gold leaf to cover the hole. And these should be defrosted in 30 minutes and we can dig in. That is it for today's recipe. I really hope that you enjoyed this one. I will link all of the tools, the mold, and any specialty ingredients in the description below, as well as the full recipe in cups and in grams and my socials where you guys can find me. You guys can always send me a DM if you ever have any questions about any recipes. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below what other recipes you guys want me to make, and I will see you next time. Bye. Look at it. That's so good. <laughs> it's truly divine. Bah. Smash the like and subscribe button and comment down below of what you want me to